Well, your Uber or Lyft ride into downtown D.C. could soon cost you more if the D.C. City Council approves a new fee. The proposal is already getting some pushback from the mayor. News 4's Mark Seagraves takes a look at the proposed congestion fee and what it means for you. Rideshare versus public transportation. Some members of the D.C. Council want to encourage more people to choose Metro Rail and bus over Uber or Lyft. Councilmember Brianne Nadeau is leading the effort to add a $2 fee to Uber and Lyft rides in parts of downtown. The money would go to expand late night Metro bus routes in the city. The goal is to create less traffic in our communities. This will generate about $10 million in the first year, which will only cover the, the uh, overnight bus. I think it's a terrible idea. Mayor Bowser, who wants to have 15,000 new residents living downtown over the next five years, was quick to push back on the fee. I think any efforts to attack the downtown right now is a terrible idea. Any effort to attack the downtown, taking capital dollars out, or actually charging people to come downtown extra is, is, uh, is the antithesis to a comeback, to an investment in the comeback of downtown. The fee would be charged in the central business district and other parts of the city, including the wharf. People using rideshare would be charged $2 for rides entering the Central Business District from 7 a.m. till noon and rides exiting the Central Business District from noon till 7 p.m. Basically, people commuting into downtown in the morning and leaving downtown in the evening. Prioritizing vehicles over access to transportation means we've got pollution, we've got noise, we've got congestion, and that's not inviting and that's not what we want for the future of downtown. The Uber fee does not apply to other for hire vehicles like taxi cabs or Uber Eats. The entire council will vote on the proposal as part of the budget process next month. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. All right, to break this down even more, an Uber spokesperson told News 4 that discouraging people from using ride shares actually hurts Metro's funding because of a tax that's already in place. Uber released a statement that said when D.C. riders look at their Uber receipts today, they see a substantial amount in fees, which includes a 6% fee on each ride to pay for WMATA and a $5 fee to get to and from the region's airports. Adding an additional $2 fee on top of today's current fees will not reduce congestion. You think many Uber riders or Lyft riders knew that they were paying for Metro all along anyway? I, I don't think they did, but I mean, to break it down, it certainly gives people a lot to think about. And now everybody wants to look at those receipts. Oh, they look. <laughs> we'll check those out right. now. Absolutely.